Google Docs. What we're looking at here is using Google Docs to make visual options for some of our text-based questions. So we know an ELL strategy is to have lots and lots of visuals. We also know that an ELL strategy is to have scaffolded text and sentence stems and items like this. And sometimes it's overwhelming what uh, amount of text is needed to be written uh, for our ELL students. So coming up with some other supports and some other options to really delve into the deep thinking and yet give students options to respond. So one of the ideas that I had was using a Google Doc and then having that Google Doc to make some visual options. Here's what I mean. Many of you have seen the word Google Drawings or insert drawing, but maybe you have or have not played much with this. But a drawing in a Google Doc is, think of it like a Microsoft Paint of a number of years ago. Just a simple tool. Uh, many people do this already in Google Slides and uh, PowerPoint where they would just build different shapes by working here and going and building some of the shapes, going and adding some of the lines, adding some of the text boxes, and adding some of the images. So the beauty of what we've done, if we insert a Google drawing here with this question, what were, you, what were they thinking? And if I go ahead and I insert a drawing, that's going to be this uh, fairly famous photograph uh, around the time of the I Had a Dream with Dr. Martin Luther King. And if I insert this image, now when I go and share this with students, this isn't just a picture. The student now will pretend that a student has received this in Google Classroom, their own copy. Uh, possibly the teacher just shared it to a student. Possibly a teacher is using HAPRA highlights, HAPRA dashboard, uh, diff many, many different ways to get this document out to the student. But when a student clicks here on the text, well, you can change the text. But if you double click here, click, click. Notice how it opened this in Google Drive. Now, students would need to be told this, but now, look what we can do. You can put a call out. You can even put it for this guy. You can put it for this guy way back here. All right? What we're after is we can have some of the thoughts then shared by students and even putting some of the different callouts, like just thinking, but yet what does he actually say? All right. Some of this would lead to when they save and close, their thinking shows up here. So again, coming up with a way to have our text-based questions, but not necessarily demand so much writing and so much text, but also having visuals to support our students in that moment. Granted, this is different where they would need to be taught, click, click, and it opens this inserted Google drawing. So that would be different on the teacher end to build as well. Next, another option that could be in my head. Time. Especially reading some different texts or some books where the timeline has uh, different locations, such as I could write that I wasn't really born in Nebraska. I hate to admit, I was born in Iowa. Kind of sad, but I was born in Iowa. And then I lived in Omaha for a very brief moment. And then I moved to an, uh, an area called Neely. And then I moved to a town called Broken Bow. And then I moved to a town called Grand Island, and then, and so on and so on. I could actually write this or insert Google Drawing. Insert an image. And then I could add some of this text here. Or 
worry too much about the formatting at the moment. But you kind of get the idea, and I'm not going to be exactly right on that, but you get the idea that save and close, we've got an inserted Google Drawing that's giving students another option to make that same bulleted list, but yet connect it with some information. So again, using Google Docs to have more visual options by inserting a Google Drawing. It could be pre-made in the templates from the teacher, such as distributed then in Google Classroom, etc. Or students could also choose to go and insert the Google Drawing here.